So hopefully this is going to pick up the sound also. So when you walk down the aisle, before you go down the aisle, your bridesmaids are going to lift the skirt and hand it to you. And just make sure that all of the crinoline kind of stuff, which there's not a lot of, is just out and down. And then whoever's the last person to walk down the aisle before you is going to do like a parachute thing with your train and make sure it's all out and beautiful. Then when it's after the ceremony and after your guests, when they go to cocktail hour and you finish your photography is when you do the bustle. The bustle is all of the buttons and then all of these little thread loops. The easiest way to find your thread loops is if you pick up just one layer, the thread loops are where all of the layers are attached together. And so if you start on the low side and work toward the high side, the first loop is fairly straight below the button. And we did two thread loops on each attachment so that if one breaks, you've got a second one. So you just And they're all sort of in a line. So once you start to find them, they just continue. So as soon as you pick up one, you see the next one. You have so much fabric in your train that if they got one ring off and put something on the button to the right or the button to the left, it's actually not going to make that much difference. So it's not going to spoil the look of the bustle. Since the train is asymmetrical, the loops get further apart as you get to the right side of the dress because there's less fullness sort of smooshed in. All of these bustles pick up the satin and the organza, and then there's one little last bustle right here that just picks up the organza and goes right here. And then, you can turn this way just a little bit, there's this long flounce. Just about five inches below the top has just one little loop, and hidden up under here is a little hook. And that's to pick up this little flounce separately. Then turn back this way for me to organize the bustle. All you do, because there's sort of a bigger loop as you go across, so you just take that fabric and you just tuck it in. And you tuck towards the center. So when you get to this side, it tucks that way. And then that little one also tucks in there. And there is your beautiful asymmetrical bustle. Looks amazing. face right into the camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do a full pan.